What's up guys, welcome back. In today's video we have um, Sceptile. Where did that come from? I don't know, but I was uh, starting to lose a lot of matches with Gliscor. Not a lot, but I was just losing some and I was getting a little tired of it. So I, I wanted another Pokemon that uh, still had Earthquake and had better coverage against Swampert. And so Sceptile was the natural choice. And I happened to have one that was kind of powered up and it's only 10,000 per second move. So let's just see how we do with it. So let's go in the first battle. All right, so this first battle actually is not with, you're gonna see why I switched to uh, Sceptile because this was the team with Gliscor and we let we led against a Togekiss, which is a fine lead. I don't mind this lead at all, especially if you can get the debuff, um, but we don't get it there. So, but I just go straight Moonblast and this is usually a pretty positive matchup. Just because uh, Togekiss charges a lot slower, so we're able to get more charge moves off. And if you get the debuff, it's even better. But it, yeah, it can be annoying because Charm does so much damage. Um, so I'm just gonna let this one. Or I'm gonna shield this one because I'm gonna get to a charge move, and I'm just gonna go for that Moonblast. We just get to it just in time. We, we're either gonna get the shield or we'll KO, and we get both shields. And so I'm okay with this. I switch into Giratina because I know. My opponent will not switch out, and I can still win this matchup because it has such a little health. And now they have Swampert. And this is not what I want to see because <laughs> uh, Swampert is super effective against Gliscor, and my only other defense is my, um, yeah, was my Cresselia, but it's gone now, so pretty much. So I really don't have much to, to fight against this Swampert, and that's kind of why I was like, okay, I'm seeing a lot of Swamperts. I need something to cover it, because right now I have no options. <laughs> so Gliscor, I mean, I have to shield, and if they if I get hit with another Hydro Cannon, like this is, because he had a lot of energy, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna be able to to win this matchup. Um, so I try to do a sack swap, and it doesn't work, and so yeah, I just quit because there was no way I was gonna win that one. So next match is now now i have septile so we lead against a blastoise which is kind of funny <laughs> just because it's a water type so i go straight grass knot and they shield so we get a shield already so that's awesome and now they switch into articuno which i was like okay wait i should just stay in because i have a ton of energy and i can just go straight moon blast and we should be able to win this matchup um so I'm uh, just not able to get that second moon blast before the, the icy wind, which kind of sucks. But we'll, and, you know, so we're gonna go for it now, anyways. And we should still do a nice size chunk for what for a debuffed moon blast, anyways. And we're gonna have to take this next icy wind. I mean, it's a hurricane, so that was that was actually better for us because it's not gonna lower our attack. I was really actually glad that they threw <laughs> the hurricane there. And then they come back in with Blastoise, and this is perfectly fine because I have Sceptile now. So this is a much better spot for me to be in, and it takes only three Bullet Seeds to get to that first uh, Leaf Blade. It takes four for the second one, but yeah, I think it's because it's just, oh man, it charges so fast. Bullet Seed charges so fast, yeah, it only takes three to get to that first Leaf Blade, which is really, really nice. And so we're just going to keep... Yeah, we had to shield because Sceptile is not... The thing. The hard thing about Sceptile is it's not very tanky. So, yeah, but it charges so fast. So that's like the trade-off. And they forfeit that match. So we win game two. So now we're one and one. Really one and oh with Sceptile, but <laughs> one and one total in the set. In third game, we lead against a Giratina with Dragon Breath. So I actually prefer Dragon Breath. Doesn't do quite as much damage as Shadow Claw and doesn't charge as fast. And so... They switch out into a Venusaur, which I wasn't expecting because I hadn't seen a lot of Venusaur lately. So I go into Giratina because we resist the grass moves. And so, but the thing is, Frenzy Plant is so strong that if you if you don't shield at all, they're gonna do a lot of damage over time. It does a lot of good chip damage. So uh, you'll see here that I end up shielding one of them just because it just kept getting to those Frenzy Plants, and I didn't wanna I didn't wanna lose too much health. So I decided to tank this one. And you see the chunk damage that it does. It takes me back to or takes me down to yellow, and they have another one ready, which would surely take me to red. And so I have to, even though it's not very effective, I have to shield it um, just because I want to keep it alive. Then he brings in a nice swap with his Giratina, and I'm forced to use my second shield. Um, so I I go Dragon Claw, 
and then I switch out to my Cresselia because I had a Moonblast pretty much ready to go. And so we're gonna go for the Moonblast and they get theirs, they use their first shield, but we get the debuff, it looked like. And this will not KO. We have too much health for this to do anything. And it was only a Dragon Claw, so that, <laughs> that was awesome. We can probably just go Grass Knot and KO from here. And then they shield, which was interesting. And then they switch out into Blastoise. So I'm like, okay, Grass Knot, we should be okay here. And they're not, obviously they can't shield anymore. And can we get to the next one? I, I could have got to the next one. I was trying to, I was trying to get cute with that, but <laughs> so yeah, we lose that. But we have Sceptile, which has ton of health. I mean, it's full health, so only three energy, uh, three leaf bullet seeds. Sorry to the Leaf Blade, and we knock out the Blastoise, and then we have enough health where nothing this Garatina can do will KO us. And I just decided to go in with Shadow Claws, um, anyways, and then the Venusaur is down. So now we're 2-1 and one in the set, 2-0 and oh with the Sceptile, so I'm like, I'm pretty satisfied right now. So uh, let's see what happens in game 4. We lead into a Charizard. This is not my favorite lead to go into, and especially bad news for my Sceptile. <laughs> so just like Gliscor is weak to the water types, like Swampert, Sceptile is weak to Charizard. So when you run into a Charizard, you need to try to get rid of it uh, by any means necessary. And Giratina or Cresselia is not bad to go against it. As long as you shield the Blast Burns with Cresselia, you should be just fine. Uh, which we did there. So hopefully we can get a debuff. And we get one. So now, whew, that's much better. So now I can I can totally not shield this next Blast Burn that's going to come. And, and they shield again. That was very interesting. Probably because they wanted to get this Blast Burn off before they go down. But it's not going to do that much damage. So this will most likely be a Dragon Claw. So I'm not going to shield it. Oh, and it's a Blast Burn. It must have had a lot of energy. So that was crazy. Um, but that's okay because they burned both of their shields. But then they bring in Togekiss. Ah, oh, did not want to see Togekiss. So they pretty much had, I mean, yeah, they had a counter to my Sceptile, counter to my Giratina. And we just couldn't get things lined up properly. And you can see there, that's kind of why we're not doing good in this match. Togekiss, the charm damage from Togekiss. I really do wish I had one, because Charm does so much damage, and I just don't have one. I don't have a good one. I don't even have a good one for Premier Cup, so I, <laughs> I really need to do some trading pronto with some people to get a Togekiss, because I need one so bad. We knock out the Charizard with Leaf Blade, but then they bring in another Charmer. Oh man, they brought double Charmers. Oh, that was, that was bad. That was bad. There's nothing we can do here. I'm pretty much forced to quit. <laughs> I tried to quit after I lost. I was so salty. Anyways, last match. Okay, so we're two and two. Giratina, or not Giratina, Cresselia versus Cresselia. Pretty textbook strategy. Moonblast, Moonblast, three grass knots. As long as I don't lose cycle cuts to the lag, then we should be fine. And I think, I don't know if it's this battle, but I definitely lost a lot of cycle cuts in one of these battles. Like, just battling, like, just the cycle cuts going way too slow. And I was losing like one every other turn. It was so annoying. Super annoying. But they switched, so we switched. Like, this is fine. This is a fine matchup if you're head to head uh, with matching health. Because we're going to get to a bunch of Shadow Sneaks and they do little chip damage, but we're going to get a bunch of them off. And so I don't really mind this matchup, to be honest. I just don't want it to be against my other two Pokemon. So, so we're going to take that Flash Cannon. We're going to keep charging. We're going to go another Shadow Sneak. Um, that is the move you want to do. Don't do Dragon Claw. And look how low health we got. We got it into the red, so like I feel like Giratina did its job. I don't need to let it I don't need to keep it anymore. Now I can come in with pretty much anything. And I come in with uh Sceptile because I can get to that leaf place so fast. This won't KO because it resists. I think it double resists the grass, I'm not sure. It just might single resist it, but still, it doesn't do much damage. But it's enough where we can farm it down, and that's awesome, because if you can get if you can get any farming done with Sceptile, you are dangerous because it charges so fast. If you just let it get like three extra uh, bullet seeds, you, I mean, your opponent's in a lot of trouble. So that's why. So I switched out, and then they have Swampert. So this is perfect. We have two Grass moves. So we have Grass Knot with this one, Leaf Blade with the other one. They are not in a good spot right now. <laughs> so I don't even like need to shield this if I don't want to because I have I have Sceptile. But Hydro Cannon did so little damage that I think I might even be able to tank this one. Let's see. 
Just barely, yeah. So we can get a Grass Knot. And this is why I love Grass Knot, to be honest. <laughs> so they let it go. And now we have our Sceptile versus their Cresselia. And we're just going to spam Leaf Blades. And we're, we're even shield, so this is good. If it comes down to a timeout situation, we are in really, really good shape because we have our shield. And you can see the clock is coming down there. 18 seconds. Of probably around 15 or 12 by the time... Oh no, 8 only. So we use our shield to save our health, and then this should run the clock out. And I think we would have probably won anyways. But yeah. So I'm happy with that set. We went 3 and 2, but really with 3 and 1 with the Sceptile. So... Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I might keep experimenting with that, um, but again, it's a risky Pokemon to use, it's not, I mean, if I had Obstagoon or Escavalier, I probably would prefer to use those, but I don't have those, <laughs> so I'm just saving up my Stardust, hopefully I can get something good, um, something good powered up in the future. So if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.